Global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello beautiful people, welcome to Global Happiness Today YouTube channel. Many thanks for keeping faith with us. Well, for a while now, Reno Ongri, for whatever reasons, have decided to always be coming against Peter Obi and the obedience supporters. At some point, he made a promise, solemn promise, that going forward, ever since the signing of the peace accord, that he will now keep to his lane and will never come against Peter Obi and um, obedience supporters. It looks like that was... A fluke. It had no intention of stopping. I have fully gotten the attention of top Igbo politicians, and they are warning uh, Atiku Bubak and PDP now to come on openly and do this now before Reno Uncle puts the whole country on flames, and not just that, and put the entire Igbos in trouble. Well, before we go into the news proper, kindly subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Beside it, you see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead. Click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. Well, according to the news, um, a former national publicity secretary of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, that's Olisa Metua, has reacted to the remarks made by a former presidential aide, Renan Mokri, targeted against Igbo people. This comes after a mockery in a series of posts via his social media handle asks Igbos to leave Lagos for choosing to support Peter Obi instead of Asiwa Jubola Ahmed Tunubu in the forthcoming 2023 presidential election. Omokri has said in in his um, uh, social media handle, said, you rage against Tunubu, you insult his ethnicity, who are the most accommodating people in Nigeria and perhaps Africa. You accuse him of using MC Oluomo. You say Obi is far better than Tunubu. You say Obi will turn Nigeria into paradise. Yet, you remain in Nigeria you remain in Lagos and refuse to leave Lagos for the paradise that will be created in Anambra. The only reason I am against Tunumbu is because as a drug lord, he can be blackmailed by foreign intelligence services. Otherwise, he performed as Lagos governor. If you maintain that Obi did better than Tunumbu, prove it by packing your kaya, packing your kaya and relocate to Anambra. Reacting to this statement, the PDP chieftain stressed that if Omokri is not stopped, his remarks and other similar posts shared by him will be passed off as the party's official position. Hmm. He further maintained that the former aide to ex-president Goodluck Jonathan is not a member of the PDP presidential campaign council but has been using his closeness to the party's flag bearer, Atiko Bobaka, to spill bail and uh, trouble and make disparaging remarks about Igbo people. The time has come for the People's Democratic Party to issue a disclaimer to Reno Ankri and his post, while he is not a member of the presidential campaign team, his closeness to the presidential candidate and his open support for the party may be may mislead people to believe his post as representing the views of the party. There's no way any reasonable or respectable Democrat can condone such insensitivity. We did not join politics to mock or disparage any set of individuals, least of all a whole tribe. The founding fathers of PDP had, had noble ideals, and its ideals and values should not be desecrated by any individual on the altar of a false strategy to engineer hatred against any tribe or stroke and ethnic contest. We all should insist on an issue-based campaign, Mutue Meto said. And wrote on the social media handle. Uncle understands. Uncle we understand has consistently been attacking Peter Obi and his supporters on social media ever since the former governor of Anambra State dumped the PDP to pursue his presidential ambition on the platform of the Labour Party. Nigerians have been reacting to this, and of course you should expect anything. Now, in no particular order, we are going to take some of them. And also should react to this as well. Please, let's be objective because look, Nigeria belongs to all of us. We are all one Nigeria, regardless of where you come from. Unrein or Uncle should be stopped from this ethnic bigotry statement he keeps making all the time. Support your candidate, yes. But please, don't try to 
the, the country is already tensed. Don't heat up the policy already. Begin to stroke, begin to look for um, tribal weaknesses to join issues with another tribe. We're not ought to be stopped. Honestly, I'm surprised that the likes of um, Adiko Babaka have kept mum over this matter. Telling the Igbos to pack their kaya and leave Lagos State is below the belt. That's totally, you're not even saying Peter Obina is no longer Peter Obina. You're taking a whole tribe. And honestly, he should be looked into and he must be stopped. If you want to promote an article, why not talk about his strengths? Talk about what he has achieved. If there's any he has achieved, then elaborate on it, expatiate on it, market it, sell it. But don't because you want to demarket a candidate. You demarket his own ethnicity in the, in the bid to bring him down. It's so not right. It is condemnable. It's despicable. And honestly, all women in Nigeria should rise up against such comments made by Rena Uncle. It is not, this is not political. This is below the belt and it ought to be stopped. Of course, many Nigerians have decided to take different tones to this matter. In no particular order, we'll take some of them. Some of them already are already saying that Reno is right, uh, that Igbo should leave. And that is the ethnic coloration we're talking about that Reno is bringing to the table. And I'm so, honestly, I'm surprised that PDP have let it to lie low. This one here is saying, truth is bitter. Omokri is actually saying the truth. Um, so it's in, it's in a bad shape. But the Easterners find it easier to cross the Lagos and still compete with the landowners. Yorubas are very tolerant, but I know one day Igbos will suffer the consequences of this misbehavior. A word that says enough for the wise. See what he's saying now? Simply because Rena Uncle brought it. Are you saying that Igbos are not in the north? Are you saying that Igbos are not in Germany? Are they not in US? Are they not in other parts of the country? And if you look at, um, if you want to look at Lagos now, I'm, I'm looking at what this young man said. If you go to Alaba, if you go to uh, Balogo Market, Yaba, Tejushu, uh, Ladikbo, uh, just to mention, but just a, f- a few, you see Igbos there. In fact, Ladikbo is almost strictly Igbos that own that spare part area, electronics areas, majorly Igbos. They brought something to the table. They did not come to beg. They didn't desecrate the land. They did not come to the roads and begin to turn Bambiala, begging on the street of Lagos. They brought something to the table. They pay tax. The beauty of tax, the beauty of Lagos is the fact that their internally generated revenue is none compared to other parts of the, of the country. And that's why you could say that Lagos is self-generating. And what brought that to the table? Igbos. They left some of their lands to come down to develop Lagos. Now, that's what Peter Obi is trying to say. Maybe because of this whole thing, that's why uh, Rana Uncle is saying this, this whole thing. If, if we can now go on our strengths, okay, let Lagos stay where it is. Let Igbos migrate to Opiweka, migrate to Anambra. Let them begin to have their seaport operational. And let their landing space, all their containers they're going to bring their goods, land first in Southeast and see if a lot of um, headquarters of some of these companies will not relocate to Southeast for easy access. Come on, let's not do this. Let's make Nigeria work again. And we know how to get this done. Get the right leadership. They have the think tank. They have the capacity to do so. And let's not, because the runner we are talking about is not even in Nigeria. He's somewhere, God knows where. Causing unnecessary tension in Nigeria, which is post. Personal opinion, though. Let's go wrap it up. Let's meet in that conversation. Was it?